Hey everybody, we're back. How you doing? It's uh, 3 o'clock Eastern Time on uh, Thursday, the 16th of September. And uh, we're here for the last hour of trading today. We're looking good here on the uh, on the markets. i got to tell you, let me turn on this little light here to get some lighting up. Uh, we're looking good on a couple of our favorites. Um, first of all, just, just a little, little heads up here. Our friends up. at SoFi have improved. Uh, we're up three cents. After being down a good chunk of the day, we uh, did uh, we did get to the break even line a couple hours ago. Couldn't hold it. Took about forty minutes. We couldn't hold it. Went down again for an hour and a half. Now we're back up again. Fifteen forty seven on twelve point seven million. Maybe break up will finally come. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. Um, GameStop holding at two hundred nine thirty nine, up four dollars and eighty seven cents today. GameStop shares have traded two point five million with a high today of two sixteen. So we have been almost $7 higher than this price already today, but we're backing up a bit. Uh, those of you who are call option writers, you're watching this closely. Either you're going to buy back your calls tomorrow at a cheap price, or you're going to uh, turn around and uh, do some uh, do some uh, rollovers. We'll see what happens here. Um, other stocks, what's going on? Well, Matterport. Let's talk about Matterport. Dollar eighty four gain again. Uh, we're now trading at um, twenty one fifty nine here. High today twenty one eighty just a little while ago. Um, twenty one eighty for the high. Twenty one fifty seven fifty nine volume four point nine four million. No news. No uh, no uh, actual uh, developments. We, we we see an hour ago someone say uh, announcement was made that Pran Pranab Sin Sinha is chief information officer. I. Don't know who that is, but okay, we'll take it. Um, and uh, seasoned executive brings two decades of experience driving IT security and infrastructure strategies to support the company's hyper growth. All right, uh, we'll see what uh, he will lead. Uh, let's see, he will lead business services strategies to drive resiliency and operational effectiveness as the company continues to grow and scale globally. Um, I, I, I don't know what that means. Um, I'm assuming that, uh, you know, he's going to tell the world how great the company's doing and we'll all find out about it and uh, we'll buy the stock. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I miss I miss the old days. I got to tell you, uh, <clears throat> the new, this started in the 80s, though. I have to say that back in the 80s, it began with uh, titles came out for jobs that made no sense. Uh, we had no idea what these jobs were and and what they would be about and and what you would do so you know you'd meet someone at a christmas party you know you, you would, my wife would take me out to a, one of her christmas parties wherever she worked <clears throat> and she'd say oh this is so and so yeah oh, how you doing buddy uh, uh what, what what do you do with the company and it, you know tells me the job title i go what does that mean <laughs> just you know help me out here uh throw me a bone uh I was born in 55 uh are you in sales, marketing, manufacturing, distribution, or are you in the cor corporate suite? Like, you know, or do you drive a truck and deliver the stuff? Like, what's the, what do you do? I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Matterport is up 170. We'll take the game, though. Uh, ME is up three cents uh, to 812. Not much happening. Smart Rent up 61 cents. Another good day. 1368 on Smart Rent. Spire. The big winner today, up 255 at the moment. High uh, at the moment, 1236 a share. The high of the day, 1320. Uh, we we've been almost 90 cents higher than this. What a day! Up 260, two, 3.2 million volume. That's got to be a record for this stock. I don't know if we've ever traded like this before. I like it. Uh, 1236 a share, up 259. Um, apparently, uh, I did read. Um, I did read a, 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 a little blurb a little while ago talking about space. Any stock to do with outer space is having a good day today. So uh, thank you, Elon Musk and SpaceX, for launching those four citizens into space and uh, any other space company having success. Way to go. Uh, it's not hurting Spire one little bit. Um, <clears throat> we'll take it. Rocket Lab, though, you know, space company, right? Uh, they, they launch satellites into orbit. Uh, they're up a nickel. Um, Got to say thank you. Uh, we're at 1544. We were down here to 1491 uh, just around noon today. Uh, this is the first time since really the first hour we've been anywhere near the positive on this market. 
1543 on 1 1.8 million volume really gotten quiet this stock was a heavy trader last week and it got really dead quiet this week uh, kind of wondering what's going on now we're improving a bit uh, volume nothing great but the price action sure looks a lot better so I guess space stocks are getting you know something rocket lab has every reason to go higher uh, they've got a backlog of orders that is getting longer and longer and longer which is great um, <clears throat> Spire has a reason to go higher because every time another satellite is launched it has to be maintained and managed and information has to be handled that's what these guys do so that's good um, <clears throat> we'll take it uh, SoFi now up three cents four cents <clears throat> obviously the fintech banking sector so it's nice to see these stocks uh, uh, perking up a little bit here I'd like to kind of see that spread across everything ATIP is up six cents uh, believe it or not uh, low of 360 this morning. Uh, that was just around 11 o'clock today. It's now 372, and it's at the high of the day and climbing. 578,000. Nothing great volume wise, but it sure looks good on the chart. It's not much of a move penny wise, but it looks good. Uh, Sextera down seven cents at 906 today. AMC is up six cents only. AMC had been um, 48.68 today. That was about oh two hours ago. 48.68. Right now 46.90. So uh, we've lost two bucks uh, on this thing, two dollars thirty cents from the high of the day, and that's all in the last hour and fifteen minutes. So the stock is quickly falling off here. Um, still up eight, but only eight. Forty-seven million volume, not enough to hold that market. Uh, that stock has to trade a hundred million a day to really maintain and or grow its value, and um, it, it's not doing it anymore. It's it's starting to. You know, slow up here. Um, Robinhood up 18 cents. Uh, Vanic Vectors up 73. It's gone positive after being negative all day. Home Depot is positive 390. IBM only off 34 cents, coming back from a dollar loss. The Dow down two points. We were down 270 points at the low of the day um, on the Dow Jones just around 11 o'clock this morning. We have gone from 34,540 to 34,812 down 1.7 now the stock market the Dow was up this morning on the opening it had been higher the high of the day looks like it was uh, 34,943 and it's now 818 so 130 points higher we have been uh, on the Dow uh, but we are climbing in the right direction we are now positive plus Plus 10 points on the Dow. So a 280 point reversal from the low to where we are here from as best as I can add it up on the spot. Looking good. Uh, Microsoft down 53 cents. That's all. Apple only down 40 cents. Um, Tesla buck 33 to the upside. Bed Bath & Beyond up 24. Blackberry down 6 cents. Royal Caribbean up 9 after being down all day. Norwegian up 29 cents. Carnival up 21 cents. Goldman Sachs uh, down 472 and it's been down for hours. We were um, this morning at 405.98. Uh, went down to 394. Lost 11 bucks. Now at 397. It is trying to inch its way back. And we seem to be at the best level since 11 o'clock this morning, maybe even 10.45 this morning. So the stock is looking a lot better than it has been the last several hours, but we're still down 4.58 on the day at 3.97.37. That will be a $700 stock. You mark my words, it will be. Amazon up 15 bucks. Facebook down 88 cents. Google down $6.99. Um, JP Morgan up 96 cents. Um, Cisco uh, down a penny was negative uh, uh, most of the uh, morning here, most of the afternoon. We were as low as 57.12. We're now 57.55. We're not doing a lot here. Uh, Cisco just went positive. It's one penny on the upside. So we're getting a turnaround here. Uh, and uh, the big old ship is turning around at this moment. And we'll see if it can keep coming. Rocket Lab now up 18 cents to 15.67. Now up 28 cents. Rocket Lab is turning it around. SoFi up one penny only. GameStop up three forty-eight. Matterport twenty-one fifteen and up a dollar forty. It's been higher. ME up a nickel. Smart Rent up fifty-seven. Spire at twelve forty up two sixty-four. ATIP up eight cents to three seventy-four, and Six Terra down now only three cents at nine ten. All right, come on guys, keep it coming. We'll take it. The Dow now is um, up 26 points, accelerating 
uh, coming on. Uh, we have a new member, Gavin Bowles. Thanks, Gav. Thanks for joining. Nice to have you here. Love seeing the new members come in here. This is good stuff. Uh, we have the Dow up 26, S&P up 3.5, and, and we have NASDAQ up 38 points. So all three markets have gone green and are climbing right now. And I'll tell you right now, we'll, we'll take this going away. Uh, we are now uh, 10 minutes into the final hour, 50 minutes to go. And, uh, well, we'll see what's going on. Um, Bruce, you're the man. Uh, May Man says, uh, what are your thoughts on a stock showing over 100% institutional ownership lscc if you feel like looking well th this is the same for this has been the same for uh gamestop uh this has been the same for a number of stocks where the breakdown of who owns the shares like the largest shareholders of these corporations seem to be international institutional investors like mutual funds hedge funds etfs uh, index funds and so on uh, of course, it doesn't add up because, you know, you add the insider's stock, the management stock that's restricted, and then you add the public float that's just held by people, and you come up with 150% of the stock, and you go, where's the 50%? How does that happen? Shorting, uh, likely. Um, you know, it, it's not an uncommon thing. It's just uh, frustrating and disturbing to see. Uh, and, uh, you know, there are times where stocks uh, uh, have these kinds of numbers, and yet they don't do anything. Uh, they they're they're just you know quiet and nothing goes on. And then you get others that just take off. I mean the stocks just go nuts. Um, but then it doesn't last long either. In some cases, you get like a two week wonder stock, and then all of a sudden it's dead quiet, and you wonder what happened. You know it all went away. And yet you can't imagine that all those shares have been bought back, and everyone covered their short positions. You can't you can't imagine that happened. Uh, so it, it's the weirdest thing. Um, anyway, I, I like, you know, like I say, this is why I'm, you know, I might be a bit boring, too boring for some of you out there who are looking for action, action, action. And um, I'm coming to you with fundamentally strong companies, I think, uh, that are in pretty good financial position and could really make something good happen here. Uh, but you've got to bring something to the table, and that's called patience. Uh, you got to bring some patience along with you to really enjoy the ride. But hey. It is what it is. Uh, Rocket Lab holding a twenty-two cent gain at fifteen sixty-one. Um, the high of the day, fifteen seventy. We had just hit it a little while ago, fifteen sixty-three. Now two million volumes, so we're getting a little volume here on Rocket Lab. Uh, I sure like to see a lot more of this. Um, come on back. Let's go. Uh, SoFi fifteen forty-five unchanged. GameStop up three thirty-six. Matterport twenty-one fourteen now. Uh, One thirty-eight gain. Looks like ME up four. Smart Rent up fifty-nine. Uh, climbing a bit again. Aspire now at the 1219 up 243. Volume on Spire, 3.28 million shares. What a day for Spire. Just amazing day. Um, ATIP up 8.5 cents to 374.5 cents on 600,000. Volume waiting for the company to announce a, a new CEO and hopefully a team of, you know, a posse coming with that person. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Uh, we'll see what uh, what happens. Anyway, 374.5 cents a share. Low today on ATIP, 360. So we're seven, 14 cents off the low. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that's 3 4% off the low today. Great. Go, go, go. Uh, Sextair just went positive too. 915, we got another positive stock here. IBM still down 23, Dow up 25 points right at the moment as we continue on the final hour of the day 1575 on rocket lab up 36 cents go rocket lab go yeah baby i like this welcome 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 uncle bruce i have uh, two matterport 1250 um uh call options expiring uh tomorrow what are the pros and cons of exercising since they expire tomorrow i'm up 160 percent there are no pros whatsoever there's no pro in this deal you will sell the shares for a profit take that money and do with it as you wish whether you're gonna buy stock with it or whether you're gonna buy other options going forward with it you're cashing in man that's what you're gonna do don't exercise these cash in it's the cheapest way to go keeps money in your pocket if you exercise you're gonna have to pay a fee it'll take a couple of days to process it there could be uh, logistical problems with the broker you just don't want to go there forget it just uh, sell them for a profit either today or tomorrow 
you're now at 2120 on the stock and I'm really happy that you are up nicely on this trade. I really am. You, you could be higher between now and the close. We could be higher tomorrow morning, but you know, your, your, your contracts are finished tomorrow. So I, I would take a look at being out of these today. Um, at the very least, be out of these. And if you want to still have contracts on Matterport, roll up into something else. Take a look at October's, but maybe longer. Uh, pick off some, uh, I don't know, pick off some 2250s or uh, 25s. Uh, use half the cash here and, 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 and put them towards 2250s or 25s and put the other half somewhere else. So keep it as dry powder. Uh, good good move. Nice, nice return. Hi, Bruce. It is impossible for out-of-the-money April calls not to move at all when the stock rises 40% during a day. This is uh, for LIDR. I, I, I can't understand why an option wouldn't move. I can understand where it wouldn't trade. I can see bid asks moving uh, and trading not happening. That that I can understand. Um, I don't like that, but it can happen. But I, I have no idea about this stock and and your market maker on it and who runs it and all that I don't know Liz how you doing um, quadruple witching day tomorrow if retail sales slump due to Delta variant along with increased volume will be one red day retail sales went up so that's not going to be an issue uh, Island girl yes all the way up hold on to your set uh, let's see I found some extra powder says Brian um, I bought 10 shares of ATIP 361 I bought brought my average from 713 to 681 do this a few more times and I will be at a $5 average. There you go. Right on. And the stock's a little bit higher. Thank you. ATIP, 374.5 up 8.5 cents. Keep it coming. Uh, let's go. Uh, Matterport is doing more than fine today, says Liz. Uh, some as, uh, same as Palantir makes up for the damage on ATIP and SoFi. This is why you diversify. And if you hold options, you go long, you go long. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I know it's still early, but I sold two covered calls on Spire um, at uh, for $25 a uh, uh, strike price in October at 55 cents each. So you're taking uh, 55 cents a share off the table uh, until October. Um, well, you know, obviously the stock's sitting at, uh, you know, right now, what is it, 12 bucks? Uh, $13 out of the money, so the odds of you getting exercised quickly are kind of low. Uh, the odds of you scoring $0.55 cents net is pretty high. Um, there you go. Um, okay, uh, Pete, it, it is the furthest out people have gone since Apollo, uh, they're saying, on the space uh, ride right now. Spire Options looking more attractive than Matterport. Uh, uh, Michael, what's that, dear? They're, they're out there for three days. Yeah, Michael, uh, Carlos, Sam wrote 15s for tomorrow for 60 bucks a pop. I wrote 15s that will expire tomorrow for 15 a pop, 60 a pop. Uh, Brian, Ham, Liz, I am down on ATIP, 6, Stara, ME, and so forth, but I'm but up on GameStop, Matterport, Rocket Lab. Nice to be an even Steven sometimes. Uh, um, let's see, what else is going on here? Uh, let me just get through here. Again, thank you, Gavin, for becoming a member of the channel. This is great stuff. Uh, um let's go let's go let's go uh kev lane is saying hi to everybody how you doing kev lane nice to have you here um let's see welcome to the future here we go uh, matterport going to the moon let's hope so uh let's see uh let, let how about a nice high orbit for a while and just make us rich too um hi uncle bruce um bruce is it possible for out of the money april calls not to move at all when the stock rises. We did this. Okay, we've done this. Let me move on here. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Bobby Hubby. Uh, welcome, Bobby Hubby. New member. Another new member. This is awesome. Welcome, you guys. Uh, nice to have you join us. This is fantastic. Uh, we got Rocket Lab up 23 cents to 1562. We have SoFi down just two pennies. GameStop up 278. Matterport up $1.33 to 2108. We have Emmy up two cents. Smart Rent up 65. Spire now 1159. Little dip here from the highs of the day. Still up a buck 80. ATIP up six and a half cents. Sexter unchanged. Um, IBM now down 37 cents. The Dow is up half a point. And we are gyrating this market. A lot going on. That's cool. Um, we are now 41 minutes to go until the bell. The Dow is now showing. Uh, let me get a refresh on this. The Dow is up six points. The uh, S and P up point a tenth of a point, and Nasdaq up 24. So we have brought back 
Uh, we've taken out a lot of losses here. This is good stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, about selling covered calls. What's your preferred method to track your rights and puts for Yahoo Finance? Is it sufficient? You got to figure that one out with your provider. Uh, boring, which happens to be another main aiming company by Musk. I don't know what that means. Uh, or boring. Okay. Spire, $15 calls and 12 and a half calls, 1119. That would be November. Are up 150%. Hard to resist the urge to sell now, but I know more is coming. Yeah, well, as I say, um, this stock does have a tendency, has had it the last couple of weeks to move in dollars. But this breakout that took place last night was significant. Is it going higher than this quickly? Or are we going to consolidate a while? I I don't know. I, I'm, I'm liking what I see. Um, and I say, uh, those of you who are, are long in options and you got lots of time in front of you, no rush to head for the exits stick out see stick it out see what's going on um let's see uh let's go let's go let's go uh i got i just got my first position with goldman sachs with all that conviction thanks as always uncle b right on erico um and uh let's see uh, why can't the sofi rise uh, what's the insight sir are my january 15 calls still okay to hold i think they are uh you're at, you're in the money 44 cents and um, I think the upside is phenomenal from here. I think more buy recommendations will come out. You just got to be patient. Just got to wait it out. Hey, Uncle Bruce, uh, I have uh, $1,500 to invest. What do you think is the best move? I need 27 shares of GameStop to make it 100 and start writing uh, or buying options and shares of SoFi. There you have it. See, yeah, well, $1,500 doesn't get you uh, the 27 shares of GameStop you need, does it? Um, at 208 bucks a share right now, of 364, uh, you're looking at five, six, six, seven shares. You're still going to be 20 odd short uh, from the mark. Now, if you're in a cash account, you could theoretically convert your account to a margin account, um, and that'll allow you to buy the 27 shares you need. You'll borrow enough money, uh, 20 shares at 200 pop. You'll borrow four grand against your account to get up to 100, which will allow you to immediately look at writing call options again. So you can write a call option. And if you were to write a, uh, a 210 call for next Friday or a 220 for the Friday after that, maybe you can bring in $1,000, $1,200. I'm not sure what the, whatever the price is. That'll go against your debit balance and, uh, you know, help you own these. The game plan might be to write a series of you know, write a call, buy them back lower, write another call, buy them back, and then build a cash position to, to knock off the 4,000 debit so that you own all 100 shares out and out outright, but with the margin account as backup if you need it. Might be your way to do it. Uh, you're close. I'm not sure who paid me uh, $15 thinking Spire goes to 20 by tomorrow, but thank you for buying my call contract. There you go. Um, Let's see here. What else is happening? Uh, here we go. 450% profit on Matterport. Thank you, Uncle B. Way to go, Simon. Way to score one here. Nicely done. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Howdy, Bruce. Hey, Bill. How you doing, buddy? Um, let's go. I have, uh, I have three Matterport $15 calls for March. Uh, I'm in a world of hurt with ATIP. Should I hold these calls to help mitigate some risk and recoup my ATIP losses or roll them to higher strikes? So you got Matterport $15 calls. Um, March, um, I think you sit tight with what you have. Um, right now, every time the stock goes up a buck, you're going to earn 80 cents of that dollar. That's $80 a thousand coming to you or $80 a contract for every dollar the stock goes up. Um, Look, if Matterport wants to take a nice little ride here to $25 a share, another four bucks, you know, you're going to add 320 to 350 on these contracts. Uh, that, that, that's another thousand in your pocket. Uh, you're on a winner, and the winner is delivering for you. Write it. Uh, you're in no hurry to unload. Um, if you're nervous about the stock maybe topping out, I mean, anyone can be uh okay uh, sell them and and uh perhaps pick up some uh junes or whatever later out if you want to uh further out or sell these 15s these march 15s and buy march 20s 
um, you know, sell these three and buy three twenties instead. The difference is the change. You keep the change. Use that to buy ATIP at these cheap prices and bring your average down. Uh, so the contract gain here will help you average down your ATIP. ATIP just goes to six bucks a share. Uh, you got a 230 gain on these shares you're buying now, approximately. Um, not bad for a 370 investment, making 230 on it, uh, you know, to add to your returns. I mean, you've got choices. You, you've got options. You've got, you've got opportunities here. Um, nice going. Uh, I'm thinking, too, Matterport 15s, uh, like I say, we're 630 in the money. So you got about two grand uh, worth of contracts, maybe a bit more than that. Um, in theory, you could sell these three contracts now. Turn around, buy 100 shares of Matterport right now, and write a call contract against your Matterport for, say, a couple of months from now at 2250 or, or 25 and bring income in on your Matterport. Dare the stock to go up. If it doesn't, if it stays here or drops a little bit, you buy those calls back for way less money and now write 2250s. Start earning income from this investment. Um, you could play that game. Welcome, everybody. Nelson, good afternoon, Uncle B, and everybody here. Welcome, 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 everybody. Uh, guys, you're you're in a position here. Some of you are in a position to start making money like you've never earned it before from writing call options on your Matterport. Um, what's wrong with that? Nothing, I say. We're up 55 cents on Rocket Lab, 15.94 now on rocket lab looking good so far holding a four cent gain gamestop now up 350 to 20802 matterport looks like it's coming on again 2128 now up 153 it's climbing again me up three smart rent um, up 63 cents to 1370 spire a 183 gain at 1159 will it do another run i don't know ATIP 373, a bargoon. Sextera 907, bargoon. There you are. Some stocks are up, some are down. Uh, decide what you want to do. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Uncle Bruce, uh, Goldman is down today because I bought some options for December. Sorry about that. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, Island Girl, you could be right, uh, Uncle Bruce, maybe your stocks are moving up today, because you and Jen are in cowboy country, uh, that, that could well be it, that could well be it, we, we be in cowboy country, um, Bart, uh, hey, Bruce, if you're talking about writing covered calls for these SPAC companies in the near future, how much premium do you expect to get per week, per month, well, it depends on the on the volatility of the stock we're talking about here. Uh, you're going to have to do some homework on this. Uh, um, you know, if if you can write a Matterport call contract um, and bring in uh, some capital, it might be worth your while. Let me take a look here on uh, on uh, this market. See if I can get my uh, my big ass iPad to cooperate with me here. I'm just have to wait it out. Here we go. Matterport right now is twenty one twenty six. And if we take a look at options on Matterport, say, just for the heck of it, I'm going to look at October's just for fun. Uh, here we go. Um, you can write a 2250 Matterport call contract for October, uh, October 15th. That is what, four weeks from now? Pretty much. You can bring in a buck 50 on a, uh, on a 2250 call contract for Matterport. Now, you know, you have, you have, you can put together a, a twelve, two thousand bucks to buy the stock, twenty one hundred dollars to buy the stock. You can immediately haul in a buck fifty on it, right there by writing October's at twenty two fifty. If you, obviously, that's a you know, the stock still has to go up a dollar twenty five more for this thing to be at the money. Um, if you want to write a December contract, twenty two fifty December will bring in about two sixty a share. Um, I, I'd stick with the October. I wouldn't write the wouldn't write the December. Um, on the other hand, you can uh, you can say, look, I'm going to buy the stock at two uh, two hundred, uh, uh, sorry, twenty one twenty one a share. I'm going to buy twenty one twenty one, and I'm going to write twenty dollar calls on it, it in the money calls um, because I think it's had such a good run it might come back to eighteen, which would put the twenty calls out of the money. But I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take two fifty uh, for a twenty dollar call right now for October. And if the stock backs off to 19 or 1950 or 18, 1850, I'm going to buy these back for a buck. 
and I'm going to take my buck fifty right there. I might get that in like a week. Again, you're guessing it'll happen. I'm I'm not saying it will, but stocks had a good run. Um, interesting stuff. You could write a twenty dollar December uh, for three fifty to three eighty, take in three sixty five. Um, so buy the stock for twenty one twenty four. Write a three sixty five contract against it. Three hundred sixty five dollars comes in right now. You can play that game. On the other side of the argument, go completely the opposite and uh, sell your contracts or whatever you have and put 2000 bucks together cash and write a put against matterport that might be the strategy if you feel that there's upside from the stock from here which i do maybe you will write you want want maybe you will want to write a put contract against matterport and so let me take a look at some of those uh uh december 20s for example uh, out of the money uh you can bring in 275 a contract right now and that means that you are committing to buy a hundred Matterport at uh, seventeen twenty-five a share. Excuse me. If you're writing the two twenty-two fifties for December, you'll bring in about four twenty, four thirty. So you're committing to pay uh, eighteen twenty-five for the stock between now and December. If it stays above eighteen twenty-five, you score all four dollars. Or uh, sorry, if it stays above twenty-two fifty, I'm sorry. Between now and December, you score all four bucks per one hundred shares. That's four hundred dollars a hundred. So you can play that game too. Uh, if you're you're feeling the upside is is there, just cash these out, build up twenty-one hundred bucks, write a put. There it is, cash secured put, and um, and take it on. Um, I, I like the idea of the twenty-dollar put because it's out of the money. Uh, if you do an October twenty-dollar put, you can bring in about a buck forty-five. If you want to do a twenty-two fifty October. Just short of three dollars a contract for Matterport. So there's a couple of options for you to think about. Um, A Z N Danny, hey buddy, thank you for this donation. I appreciate it. Uh, Nine ninety nine coming in. All of Bruce's recommendations were exactly that. Then put them on your radar and buy the dip. They are very low cost to entry with plenty of upside in the future. Thanks for the money, Uncle B. You're welcome, and thank you for the donation. I do appreciate it. Bruce, now that Matterport's over 20, what do you think about selling in the money calls, anticipating a retractment of the big rate? Just talked about that a minute ago. You can write $20 calls. You can write $17.50 calls. Um, you know, go out to October, go out to December, uh, write uh, write twenty-two fifties. You can write 15s. If you feel the stock might come back $3, $4 on a bit of a profit taking, and you write 20s, they're in the money, uh, but you bring in the fat premium, the 360 whatever premium, December's uh, 2250s will bring you, uh, uh, sorry, t December 20s will bring you 360.65. Right now, uh, the stock stays under 20 bucks a share for a while. Those contracts are worthless. Uh, they will shrink out. Of course, this is a December contract. If you want to write a an October um, uh, 20, you'll bring in about 250 a share. Um, you know, in the next month, uh, if the stock drops a little bit in the next two weeks. These might go down to a buck. You buy them back, score a buck fifty gain. Thank you very much. Uh, you still uh, own your stock and uh, take the money and uh, yeah, get ready to write some more. Woohoo! Uh, why is it when I look at the numbers, they never are the same as what Uncle Bruce is seeing? Why? Why is that? I don't know. Lower than average volume on SoFi today. Sellers are trying hard to keep it under fifteen fifty. Seems to be new resistance. Tired of these pennies up and down every day. Want to see it move? I hear you. Fifteen forty-five unchanged 1594 on rocket lab up 55 cents gamestop up 310 matterport 2152 up 177 me up three cents smart rent up 60 cents and spire 1174 up a dollar 98 that's where we're at here kids watching this market we have 27 minutes to go and uh you know you've got uh, you've got potential you guys some of you are up money on some of these contracts and and positions for the first time in a while, and I'm happy about it. Um, I don't believe these stocks are topping out at all-time highs. I think they have a long way to go, but there will be, as you know, fluctuations in price. And you have to decide whether you want to try to take advantage of fluctuations or write out a win, cash out a partial position. Uh, you have choices. And when you're up, it's uh, sometimes a hard, a hard call. Sometimes it's a tough thing to figure out. Fantastic. Um, let's see. We talked about that. I have January 22 to, in 2022, $12.5 calls on Matterport. 
And it looks very nice today. When I do the math, it seems like there's a book value uh, only odd. Would you cash in now or wait for more gains given the long position? Well, you have a 1250 call on a 2150 stock. So <clears throat> really nicely done. I, I'm really happy here for you. Um, as I said earlier, you could theoretically roll, do a rollover and you could take out your 1250s, cash them in, turn around and buy 2250s. And if you've got, say, I don't know, let's say you have one call right now, you sell it and you buy one call of a 2250. It won't cost you as much because obviously it's more expensive, but uh, you keep the change and you roll that into something else or you sell the 1250s, buy the 2250s, and buy as many as you can. Maybe you can go from one to three or one to four. I don't know. Uh, that might be the way to, to play it. Uh, you could theoretically uh, decide, I'm going to sell the 1250s in January, and I'm going to buy the 20s or the 2250s for April. I want to go longer now because stocks will fluctuate up and down. I'll go longer, cheaper, more units, more leverage. Thank you very much. Go to 30 bucks a share. Uh, you could play that. You could sell these contracts if you've got one, two, three, four. You have enough contracts to buy Matterport stock outright and write call contracts against it. That would be something I would really consider strongly as an idea. Um, now be a shareholder of this company and start writing 2250s for, as I was saying here earlier, uh, April and December and start bringing in income now to be a shareholder. Turn these contracts into shares that now generate money to you. That is the long-term build-out of this business, uh, of this game. And <clears throat> hopefully Rocket Lab at 1602 will soon reach 20 and we'll do that. You'll be doing it with that. Soon SoFi will go back over 20 and you'll be doing that. And all of a sudden you're writing options on two, three, four, five different stocks simultaneously bringing income in every week or two or three, every month or so from all kinds of sources, which will generate the kind of cash flow to make you start thinking, do I need to keep my day job or can I work part-time now because my option income is coming in to get me out from my job? Is this possible? 100 shares won't do it. 200 shares won't do it. But over time, you will grow out and grow out. And if you do buy 100 shares of this stock, 100 of that one, 100 of that one, you start writing options to get a taste for it, to get a feel for it. You'll become more comfortable with the income coming in and the depreciation of options now that you're on the opposite side of the market. You won't mind dips so much. You don't like them, but you won't mind them so much because when dips happen, contracts get purchased back for cheap money. Okay, 1614 on Rocket Lab, up 75 cents. Rocket Lab has joined the party, finally, uh, with Spire and others. Uh, it was not joining the party earlier, but it is now. Spire, 1173, up 197. 1614 on Rocket Lab, up 75 cents. We have 22 minutes to go in the day. SoFi, up 3 cents to 1548. <clears throat> Matterport, 20, 2154 right now. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, let's see if we can make some more money. Uncle Bruce, is it a good idea to write covered calls for Matterport on 22.50 next month or go for a higher strike? Yes, you can. And you go either way you like. I've uh, gone over a bunch, of, a bunch of these scenarios. Yes, indeed. I know I'm behind here, so that's why I'm, I'm reading these messages right now. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, let's see. Uh, make money, make money. I have 27 shares of Matterport. I'm up 50%. I think I'm in it for the long run. Set it, forget it. That's all uh, in the TFSA. Beautiful, Brian. Beautiful job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this company's going to make you money. Uh, this this, this entity is, uh, these guys are a machine. I love how Matterport brings out release after release after release. They do news announcements, news announcements, news announcements. This is what every one of these stocks should be doing. Every one of these SPACs that I talk about should be doing what Matterport is doing. Tell me how nice the weather is in your outside your office. Press release. I don't care what you say. Just talk. Talk a lot. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, anyway, there you have it. Uh, Sextera. Oops, a little dip here. 886, uh, down 27 cents. I don't know why. Uh, low of 881. Uh, we have 359,000 shares traded on Sextera for the day. Took a little dip down here. That means it's a bargoon opportunity. Uh, those of you who have some dry powder, you might want to scoop it up. Check the 750 call contracts. 
check the uh, maybe the ten dollar call contracts further out. Get a scoop if you can. I don't know what it is, but it it is doing what it's doing. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, da, 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 let's see. Uh, DraftKings not happy with me today. He's not happy. Liz, uh, is ATIP still a good long term hold, or should we be happy breaking even? I think it's a good long term hold, and and I'm expecting uh, good things with the stock once they get a, a CEO in there. Um, I'm expecting a lot of activity. Uh, but it's hard to buy when it's down. It is hard to buy. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, see, like, hey, Bruce, I have a January uh, 22, 17 and a half dollar call on Matterport. Uh, would you suggest the same thing that you've been saying to others? Thanks for the advice. Uh, well, uh, your Matterport contract is what, 412 in the money. Uh, you have, you know, obviously a contract that is worth some some capital here. January uh, seventeen fifty. Um, let me see. Is that Matterport there? Yeah, Matterport. January seventeen fifty. See if I can get it to pop up here. There we go. Um, we're at now five twenty to five fifty is the range right now. So, uh, uh, you know, if you have, uh, uh, I don't know how many you got, but for every one you have, you have five hundred something dollars. If you have four of them, you can buy 100 shares of Matterport and now be a writer of contracts. So, you know, uh, the higher the stock goes, obviously, the higher these will go. Um, but, um, uh, you know, uh, you're never going to have enough money from this contract to buy 100 shares of Matterport. You're, you're, you know, I mean, Matterport goes up. Well, this will go up. So, you know, but a gain is a gain and making money is making money. Matterport, 2160 up a buck 85. Now 2162. Beautiful. High today, 2180. This stock is hitting a new high today, hit a high yesterday, is running. It's not the all time high, but it's doing very well here. This is doing very well. Uh, 1128 on Spired, up 152. Uh, Rocket Lab, 1640, up a buck. Hello, Rocket Lab. Welcome back and thank you for the run. This is good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Everyone, uh, thank you. Liz, you're welcome. Uh, anyone got a Target price on Rocket Lab, the moon, baby. Uh, well beyond 20, well beyond, more like 30 is my thinking. Um, Fenneville, PayPal donations coming, Uncle Bruce. Great day for me. Sold Spire, IRNT, OPAD, and TMC options for a profit. Uh, and there it is. Uh, a PayPal donation just clicked. I just heard the bell there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Fenneville. Uh, I'd love it when you're making money. I just love it when you make money. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. CXT says uh, they're saying taking a dive. Uh, 883. It's only off 30 cents. Uh, got as low as 880. Now 883. I don't know why. Uh, not any volume here. 371,000 shares. So this could be just one seller. Uh, maybe somebody getting blown out on a market call. I don't know. Uh, it's the end of the day, and maybe someone's got an option problem. Or a margin problem, I should say. Uncle Bruce, how are you feeling about a Matterport gradual grind up? Good, bad, based on past experiences. I'm feeling very good. Very, very good. I like how Matterport has been run ever since the deal was announced. Matterport has been a machine, a promotion machine, just exposing how they're doing to the world. The market is figuring it out. And they like what they see. And this stock, I think, is going to go higher. I like it. Uh, thank you. We got 168 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. Um, Bruce, I just checked the uh, bid ask prices. Finally updated from this morning. Looking good. I bought in at 40 cents, and and it's at a bid ask of 210, uh, 135 right now. Feels good. Uh, fantastic, sir. Uh, I'm glad you're getting a, a, a proper bid ask here. It's good to see. Rocket Lab up a dollar nine at 1648. Like that Rocket Lab reaction. This is all in the last 20 minutes. Uh, it's been a quiet day on Rocket Lab. Uh, and here we are running. I'm happy to see it, and you all deserve it. Um, i tell you, I, I, it's been frustrating to watch it really the last week because the shares uh, were as high as, what, 19 bucks a week ago, and then they backed off here to this, uh, you know, 1525 range, uh, 1508 range, and now here we are at 1650. This is, this is a nice... Uh, a nice partial rebound. You deserve it all. Um, let's see. Um, and Fumbler, Fumbler. Now, for my January um, uh, $240 GameStop covered call, 
is it still best to wait for time premium to go down rather than try to roll even further up? Yes, y yes. Right now, you don't want to do anything. GameStop, it's at, uh, GameStop's 205 a share. You have a 240 contract. You're 35 out of the money. And as each day goes by, each week goes by, this contract has less time left in it. And so just sit back. Just just chill. Yep, chill. Um, Uncle Bruce, did you come comment today about Gensler defending GameStop retail investors? I did not because I haven't been able to find the entire quote. I have had no time. Um, you know, he, he's on the right page about defending uh, GameStop retail investors. They're not the, they're not the villains here. Uh, none of the GameStop shareholders are villains. Um, so, yeah, I think we're all right. Uh, DM 2134 a week ago saying, uh, Fenneville, uh, yeah, hey, hey, Rocket Lab, time for us to buy stock, uh, to buy back the $20 put for January 22. Well, let it go and then buy it back. Yes, exactly. Uh, Fenneville, uh, those uh, those puts you wrote at 9 bucks, uh, they are probably dropping in value, which is exactly what you want, obviously. You gotta love this Rocket Lab. Let me take a look at Rocket Lab January calls. Got me curious now. Here we go. Uh, January twenty-two, uh, twenty-dollar calls. Um, yeah, eight to eight forty, and you guys were writing them at eight eighty to nine bucks a piece. And if you were writing them this morning, you might have had nine or more. Now they're uh, market eight to eight forty. They're dropping off, and they're going to keep dropping off because this stock is coming on. That's a nice little move there. I'm very happy to see that. Like I said, you can write SoFi puts. You can write $20 SoFi puts if you want for January. You can write Matterport $25 puts if you want. You can write uh, um, uh, Spire puts, 15s if you like. All in the money um, for January and beyond. To take a big fat premium, hopefully, uh, and cash it on. Smart Rent, you can write $15 puts there. You can write $17.50 puts there. Uh, definitely make money uh, for sure. Six Terra, uh, right tens uh, right now with the stock at eight eighty four. Right ten dollar put contracts on Six Terra. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Bruce. Uh, when a bank charter happens, will the stock go up before the retail investors hear the news? Um, Adam, uh, this would be uh, the kind of information that the company would want to release the minute it's the second it's official. Uh, they're not going to sit on it. It's not going to be kept quiet for anybody. This is public knowledge. As a matter of fact, I would expect the regulators to be announcing this news even before the company does, or at least joint statement. Uh, so, uh, Adam, uh, you know, uh, this is good news if they get it, if and when. I, I know they're going to get it. I just don't know what day. And, uh, you know, maybe tonight after the bell, tomorrow, next week, two weeks from now. I don't know what day, my friend. Bruce, you missed my earlier message with all the details. I guess I've been busy, Zach. Uh, but thanks to you, I've been able to write more aggressive calls and wait for dips to buy back. So grateful for your knowledge. Zach, I appreciate the comment. I, I'm sorry I, I missed it. Um, uh, you know, a thousand comments a day and how many emails. But uh, it's exciting stuff here. Um, looking good. And, uh, and I'm happy for you. Making some dough. I love it. Uh, I want all you guys to make a ton of money. Uh, we are down to 13 minutes, kids. We're getting there. Uh, Fenville is saying 770 asking right on Fenville. And, you know, if you're ever going to buy him back, you're only going to buy him at the bid, uh, nickel above bid. But really, Fenville, let the stock run. Uh, this thing could pop back to 20 on Tuesday tomorrow. And uh, you might be buying these back at 4 bucks, 350 Score a nice one here. Um, my bad on CYXT, guys. I bought at 906. Uh, Bruce's uh, picks never go down. You'd have to be crazy to lock in profits. Uh, Wally, Uncle Bruce, do you think ATIP stock will recover once a new CEO is appointed? I think they'll be upside. Um, I think that once the CEO settles in and brings in the team that they're going to bring in, yeah, I think there'll be a recovery. I don't expect the stock to go right back to 10 and $12, but heck, if they can go to five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half bucks. Yeah, looking good. A lot of you will be uh, in the green pretty quickly here uh, because you've been doing the right thing, and that's averaging this thing. Uh, bless you, Jen, says uh, Ryan. Uh, he heard that. Uh, Sela, I only have one contract for my January 2275, so I think maybe I'll take my profits and buy another call. I seriously need your classes. There you go. Uh, well, you know, uh, up to you. Uh, you're in the chips. The stock is climbing again, uh, 2158. Uh, um, you know, the, the, this stock is, I think it's going to go higher. I, I just, I just believe it. But, you know, Sela, 
you can sell this one and buy a uh, April uh, $20 call or something like that or or buy April 2250s uh, you might get go from one contract to three or four contracts and now you've got quadruple the leverage so if the shares go to 25 those 2250s are 250 in the money plus premium for April uh, Whatever. I, I mean, I don't know what the ratio is. I don't know if you can get one or three or four. I don't know what the deal is, but way to go. Do what you got to do. Um, let's go. Uh, yeah, any reason for it? Dave, I don't know. I have no idea. There's just uh, uh, the stock is now up to uh, 1630 again. That uh, was 1640 a minute ago here. 2.9 million volume. It's just picked up. Uh, uh, um, the stock, the, the space stocks are getting picked off and are being becoming favorites of, of market players. I guess that's it, part of it. Uh, the credit savage, I don't know, Fenville, I want to wait another 2 or $3 to buy back those puts and use that money to buy more puts. Uh, or should I buy the stock with that? What do you think, Uncle B? Uh, yeah, you want this stock to just keep on going. Um, the, the, the stock's ability to reach 20 bucks right now is, is e it's easy because it's already done it. And that would put these puts right down to the 4 level, 450 level. You got yourselves a nice score there. Uh, just a you know a quick one. I mean a quick score, um, but um, you know uh, you, you you you're getting richer. The calls the puts are becoming cheaper, and I think the pattern will continue. And uh, you know a, a couple of days from now, a week from now, hey, if you can buy them back at three three and a half, thank you very much. Uh, may I have another? Uh, this is a way to this is a great way to go. And then we'll see what happens next. Zach, I understand you're busy. Thanks for working your butt off for us. Zach, you're the man. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Fanville, the credit average uh, credit coach, yes, sir. Just happy to see the stock move up. I bought 200 shares at 19.99, so happy to see them go up is a good thing. Um, Ethan, Uncle Bruce, I haven't been around since the crazy days of GameStop. You helped me make a lot of money, but just want to know uh, if you ever got a YouTube plaque. No, no, never did. No, never got the plaque. We we've got to 106,000 subscribers. But then uh, about March the 11th or 12th, um, I got attacked by uh, the haters uh, because I didn't love AMC stock like I love GameStop. So that made me a trader, a bum, a nobody. And so I immediately lost 10,000 subscribers like, in the first you know month after that. And maybe that put me under the level to get the plaque. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I really don't care. Uh, it whenever it happens, it happens, and how it happens, I don't care. I just, I'm just happy to see, not only GameStop doing all right, but I've recommended to you folks eight separate SPAC stocks since February, and they're all down the road a long ways. They've all become independent companies now. They're no longer SPACs. And some of them are beginning to show signs of life. And um, I'm a long-termer, and I like the fundamentals. Uh, and I can't, I cannot give you day trade wonder stocks, and I won't. Um, and so, if I lose subscribers because of that, so be it. But if I gain subscribers, you know, I might lose 20 and gain five. The five I'm gaining are going to be around a long, long time. And sooner or later, there will be an equilibrium here where I gain as many as I lose. And I'll start gaining more than I lose, and we'll just climb the channel back up again, Good. and it'll be fine by me. I, I may have, out of the 90-whatever thousand subscribers right now, I might only have 10,000 of you that actually watch me on a regular basis. That's not uncommon for a YouTuber. Uh, you see YouTubers with 2 million subscribers, they might only have 300,000 active followers. Uh, you, you get YouTubers with... 60,000 subscribers, they've got 10,000 viewers, 5,000 viewers. Uh, it, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. Um, the key here is just be consistent and keep pounding away at it and talk about what you believe in, and uh, I can live with myself. And uh, you guys are making money. I'm a happy guy. Um, there you go. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, ah, you're so smart. Thank you so much. The credit service. I've been so busy with SoFi and Matterport and Elsie that I, I that I put Rocket Lab on the back burner. Uh, Fenneville, this is exciting. Making money on making on money made from the thin air. This is great stuff. Uh, I miss these crazy GameStop days. Uh, Percy, uh, Bruce, you've been around a while. How will SPY react with quad witching? I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not sure about if there's. If you see, might be a nothing burger here. Dave, almost close. Uh, close. Thumbs ups, guys. Thumbs ups for Bruce. Uh, we're six minutes to go. 
Those AMC games are the only people drive me nuts. Uh, Uncle B, um, YouTube purges fake accounts, bots periodically all at once. I don't think you lost thousands of haters. They were bots banned accounts. We, we were getting really attacked. Of course, on March 16th, we went into membership mode, which is what most of you are here, and I thank you for that. Uh, and that has really, uh, you know, helped me keep my sanity because it's just been, it's just been, it was just insane there for a while with the hate that was coming through here. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm so, so pleased that so many of you here are, uh, you know, loyal to the channel. I appreciate it very much. And again, uh, uh, you know, if you're a member of this channel, I cannot thank you enough uh, for being members of this channel. I, I uh, it just, it has made the difference for Jen and I. Uh, to really plan long term, um, you know what we're going to do, and how we're going to go forward. And so, uh, thank you everybody for for being uh, being a member of this channel and 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 helping out. Uh, the ten dollars a month you're making, uh, giving to uh, YouTube, we're getting seven of it, and it adds up. Uh, keeps us going. And of course, the the donations you guys make just just put everything over the top. So thank you guys. If you're watching the classes, thank you as well. That helps a ton. And I hope it's helping you. So there you go. Thank you, guys. Uh, all righty. Uh, let's see. Uh, Uncle Bruce, I have uh, October 15 SoFi calls, but I can roll them into December 17 and a half for free. Is that a good roll? Um, it can be. Um, yeah, it can be. Um, uh, uh, SoFi 15s are, you know, they're 50 cents in the money. Uh, going December gives you another 60 days of time, but you're $2 out of the money. And so... You know, you got to, you know, think about that. But I, I like the fact that it's 1550. This stock is so cheap that uh, when it takes its run, 1750 is going to be cheap. So uh, you can make the roll for free, giving yourself another 60 days. Not, not a bad idea. I've been watching since the start, Uncle Bruce. I love your knowledge. Thanks so much, Nanette. Thank you so much for your kind words today. Uh, Alexander, I just love your honesty. Uh, people that can't handle honesty will just. Hit the wall and face the music elsewhere. I know. Um, I get that. Uh, you know, when you've been around as long as I have, you you, you learn that sooner or later, and uh, it all comes back to roost. It does. Rocket Lab and Matterport are doing well for me, says Drop. Uh, Maximus, uh, the 756 Terra put I sold last month is expiring tomorrow, so that's pretty cool. Interesting stuff. Um, I did the day trading thing for years, says Michael. Uh, nearing retirement, I'm just looking to ride my tendies into the sunset. TNX, for, uh, thanks for helping me think long-term, Uncle Bruce. You betcha, buddy. Keep her going. Uh, Chris, I watched almost every day since March after my FOMO into GameStop. Thanks for the hand-holding and knowledge, Uncle B. Thank you, Chris. Um, hey, Uncle Bruce, playing the covered call game and rolling out when necessary. But what is a good strategy for eventually unwinding? Uh, say your stock moves up and hits your target price and you're red on your latest covered call. Well, again, you do the covered call rollover. Uh, sooner or later, stocks will plateau for a while. They'll plateau. They'll give up a little bit of a gain. Or what can happen, and we've been waiting for it, we've been watching the pros on Wall Street keep telling us a correction will come. And uh, when a stock correction comes we will see a 5 10 12 percent pullback on all the major averages that could affect a lot of the stocks we have including our options where within a couple of days without us realizing it the covered calls we wrote at whatever prices we wrote them at will just go ooh, very quickly and we'll sit there and go well i think i'll buy back these calls for pennies on the dollar and sit on the sidelines a little bit and watch this market, you know, settle down. And if the uh, market consolidates and starts climbing again, I'll start writing covered calls. Uh, there's always that. Uh, let's see what happens. Show a little love and get a membership, says Drops. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm a completionist uh, uh, just here for the purple 24-month badge. <laughs> Bryce uh, Petty, uh, sending love from Dallas. Thank you so much uh, for that. Appreciate it. Thumbs for Bruce. Uh, Larry Stan, throwing you thumbs. We've got a minute to go, and we're going to shut this thing down for the day. Uh, when I found Uncle Bruce, I was just a dumb ape buying GameStop for $300 a share. Now I feel like I'm a real investor. Thanks, Uncle B. Drew, thank you very much. Kind words indeed. High praise indeed, as they say on Saturday Night Live. 15.51 on SoFi. We're up six cents. Come on, SoFi. GameStop up a dollar sixty. 
Matterport at 2109 up a dollar 34 ME down a penny smart rent up 54 spire up a buck 57 to 1133 a very pleasant surprise for us today on that one um, ATIP 373 up seven cents six Terra still at 889 got as low as 877 and now is at 889 a 12 cent recovery I don't know why it backed off but it's only traded 412,000 shares so there's no heavy duty selling off going on here. Uh, anyway, what can I say? Chris saying good uh, good evening, bagels. Liz, thumbs ups for Bruce. Alexander, I have already made so much money on your stocks, Bruce, and thanks to you, I understand options so much better. I was late to the Matterport party, but the others have made me money already. Fantastic, Nelson, Drew, neat, neat, neat. Uh, Chris, Drew, yep, that was me too. Robert Benson, you are giving us the golden key to the realm of options. All the newbies cheered. Uh, yoo -hoo. Um, uh HD28 girl, same here for me. Uh, fantastic, guys. Uh, I'm glad you're doing all right. Island girl, count me in as one of those who checks in every day. Uncle B, admittedly, you start before I'm awake, so I'm not. So I'm not behind the eight ball. Listen and and getting ready for work. Uh, what what the face is Rocket Lab doing? Uh, going up, I think. Uh, anyway, it's at 15.89 right now. Still up 50 cents. We are closed now. Thank you, uh, DQ, uh, DM, making me money. Nelson, uh, Winnipeg has been warmer since Uncle B and Jen moved to Calgary. Um, I can't remember, so just buy to close and get out of the uh, A uh, covered call. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Test Monkey, go my, uh, MSFT, never in doubt. Uh, Larry, the bells are ringing, Bruce. The, the day is done. Uh, we're done here. Nice. There we go. I don't know, Fenville, I don't know what to say, but last Friday without Uncle Bruce was kind of weird for me been listening to uncle bruce for six months it's like a routine now there you go larry hello there must have been a delay in the chat uh dm dk i was referring to uh, id dumping 60 cent immediately again i'm 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 not sure what this means uh david uh, i actually made money today uh put in a limit sell on rocket lab a few days ago when it was jumping up and i forgot about it and it sold at that spike buying back cheaper Accidental profits, go figure. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Larry, uh, maybe I'll send the bells five seconds early. <laughs> um, Velvus, I have roped my wife into watching some of the options contracts lessons. Uh, with her getting in the game, we'll make some serious money because she's the smart one. There you go. Now you're, now you're talking, bringing in the brains now. Bringing in the brains. Uh, Scott, where did this money come from? Oh, yeah, Uncle Bruce. Um, <laughs> Fabio Nerd, a tip. Two and a half January are almost free. Um, Dana, the new bagel color is so pretty. Uh, do you have a pick of your fave that you would do a covered call on? Um, no, I I want to do it all. I would want them all to be doing it. I want you to get money from everywhere. A little burp before the close. Uh, Fenville, uh, Nelson Reese, Fenville, one hundred percent. Uh, I missed trivia last Friday. We got trivia tomorrow. We've got trivia tomorrow, seven o'clock Eastern time. I will have trivia set up and ready to go. We'll have some fun tomorrow and unwind a little bit. Matterport twenty one oh nine final trade up a dollar thirty four twenty one eighteen in the aftermarket up nine cents. Rocket Lab fifteen eighty nine at the bell sixteen fourteen aftermarket up twenty five cents on Rocket Lab. SoFi. 1550 on the bell, 1552 on the aftermarket. GameStop, 20650 on the bell, 20699 up 49 cents in the aftermarket. I don't know what's going on. ME 809 on the bell, 818 on the aftermarket. Smart rent, 1369 on the bell, no aftermarket trading yet. Spire, 1140 on the bell, 1141 in the aftermarket. Um, ATIP. 374 on the bell, 374 in the aftermarket. We had an eight cent gain today on ATIP. Six tear up, 890 at the bell. Low was 877, so we came back 13 cents. No aftermarket trading at this point in time. That is the latest. Uh, the Dow ended up with a loss of 63 points. It did give us a slight break even, about a half an hour before the bell, but couldn't hold it. Lost 63, S and P down 694, Nasdaq gained 20 points. Interesting market. An uh, oil unchanged at 72.61. There you have it. A mixed market. Uh, we might be running out of sell orders. Uh, the Dow might be running out of gas on the sell side because today we brought back a 200-point rally. We had it coming on here. 
Uh, we might be turning the corner. We'll see how this goes here shortly. Uh, never, never know. All right. All the thumbs for Bruce. Thank you, Zach. Uh, appreciate it. NTPC, there was no trivia last Friday. Uncle Bruce was traveling. That's true. I've decided, HD, I decided to become a member after last Friday when I realized how lonely life is without Uncle Bruce and Jen. Oh, well, thank you for that. Uh, Simon, I reinvested some profits from Matterport into ATIP. I like the way this works. Now you're talking. Uh, Trish the Dish, can someone remind me what AF point is again? Uh, I forget, even though I have 100 shares. What is AF point? I don't even know what that is. Uh, DraftKing, we love the anti-PC show. Congratulations. anti laugh out lot. I know, Larry. I missed having fun. Zach, I bought an October 10 CYXT call for 10 cents. On the dip, already worth a quarter. You're rich. You're rich. You're up $15 a contract. Zach, I, I, why can't I do this with numbers on the other side of the decimal? Ah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Larry, anti-PC. Oh, heck yeah, me too. Uh, Zach, uh, trivia is the best. Uh, Dana, hey, anti-PC, anti. Yes, it is, Zach. It is the best. Uh, looking forward to having fun with you tomorrow on trivia at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Members only from this channel and members only from TWB, Traveling with Bruce, my other channel. We do a dual live telecast on both channels simultaneously for trivia. And we have a good time with it. Zach, um, it wouldn't be two and a half times your money on every say. Wouldn't it be great to have that every time? Make two and a half times your money every time you did a trade? That'd be kind of cool. Um, Microsoft up 40 cents on the day. 305 on Microsoft. It was as low today as 376. So it came back nicely. Almost a $5 recovery. Apple lost only $0.24. Cents. Tesla gained a dollar sixteen. Bed Bath & Beyond had a dump at the end of the day, too, down $0.55 cents on the day. Uh, it dropped off, and it is still unchanged in the aftermarket at this point. BlackBerry up one penny. <clears throat> Royal Caribbean had a drop-off in the last half hour, losing <clears throat> $0.98 cents on the uh, session. Aftermarket up $0.26. Cents. Um, Royal Caribbean at $82.28. Um, Goldman Sachs, 545 loss on the day. Um, still down on the aftermarket, down 30, 35 cents at 396 a share. It's trading at 7.28 times earnings. 7.2 times earnings on Goldman Sachs. That's cheap. I would be, I still would not be satisfied if the stock went up 50% from here, because it would only be trading at about 10 and a half times earnings, unacceptably cheap. But a 50% gain from here would put the stock at just under 600 a share. This is worth call contracts. And if you want to write poor man calls, this is the stock to go with to write poor man call contracts. Uh, there are some opportunities here to be had. Uh, check out the lessons on how to do that. Anyway, guys, thank you for being here with us today. Uh, Jen and I now are going to pack up and leave our daughter's condo, and we are going to a secret, top-secret location this afternoon where we're going to hang out a little while. We're going to do broadcasts starting tomorrow morning from the new location here in Calgary. I'll give you that much info. And uh, we'll have uh, we'll give you some uh, we'll give you some photos of where we're going to be at when we get there. But thank you all of you for being with me today uh, for this day of all days. Uh, I hope you made some money today. Thanks to those of you who have made uh, super chat donations. Those of you who have become members today, thank you. Appreciate that. If you were able to give us a thumbs ups today, I uh, love it. If you're watching my lessons, we love you for that too. We have 267 thumbs ups on this show. As I sign off for the day, if you're able to throw a thumbs up at this uh, at this channel right now, please do so. Tell YouTube that uh, others should watch, and they should follow stocks like Rocket Lab, SoFi, GameStop, Matterport, 23andMe, SmartBrand, Spire Global, ATIP, Sex, Sextera. They should follow uh, Vanek Vectors, uh, Home Depot, IBM. They should follow Microsoft, Apple. They should be into these stocks. They should be buying puts on Royal Caribbean. They should be long on Goldman Sachs. Help out those stocks by helping out this channel, by throwing me thumbs ups. More people will watch us, and uh, they'll hear all about these stocks and why they should own them and why they should trade them and join you. Uh, thank you all again so much for being here. Jen and I so appreciate your uh, following us. Have a great evening, everybody. Please stay healthy. Stay safe. Get your shots. Don't get ill on me. And we'll do the same here. We'll stay healthy here, and we're going to move.
to our next location and um, we're one step closer to heading to america oh my gosh i can't wait it's gonna be so much fun thank you all for being here today um and we'll catch up with you guys uh in, in tomorrow morning 8 30 as usual and uh this is fantastic here we go smooth wake i sold a manderport call for 1750 strike for 440 so great to have one on the reverse backs nicely done uh fantastic guys uh sounds like a fancy penthouse you're going to well you're gonna have to just wait and see what this all looks like uh, uh you know uh maybe if it says fido over the door you'll know what this means uh so climbing a bit in the after hours i uh, love that uh 1556 go so fi go so fi go so fi good, good night uncle bruce thank you nelson thank you drew thank you john orion biden draft king larry island girl michael uh, John Anderson, uh, Island Girl, thank you guys. Credit Savage, thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.30 from our next location. You guys take care. And Island Girl, we're going to try and sleep in a king-size bed tonight. You betcha. You take care, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>